Hello, everybody, and welcome back to you, Mario Kart Monday. Hey, I like the picture in the background. All right, let's get started. So today we're going to be doing again 100cc mode Grand Prix, and I'm going to choose Tanuki Mario. It was a tie between Tanuki and Baby Rosalina, but I'm going to choose with Tanuki Mario today. So we're going to have the Bone Rattler, the Slick Tire, and the Bowser Kite. We're going to be doing the Lightning Cup today. You know, these four gorgeous looking retro trucks. Let's get started. So I remember looking at the original DS TikTok clock, and I thought it was okay. You know, it's a nice idea. But when they when I saw the release for this track for the the remake, I thought, wow, they really put a lot of time and effort into it because like it just looks absolutely stunning, all the details and stuff. And I'm gonna let you enjoy the music and the details and stuff in a bit. Let's get started. It looks like the cart is too big for Tanuki Mar Mario, isn't it? Like, it looks really weird with him sitting at the, all the way at the front half of the cart, and the other half is just like, sticking there. Oh, I missed the glider. Ugh. Throw those three bananas over there so we can stall other players or characters. And of course, our blue shell, the first blue shell of the day. <laughs> Alright, we haven't gone this way yet, so here we go. Here we go! Very bad impression about it, I apologize. Alright, this time we're getting the glider. There we go. Okay. I was gonna release the banana anyway, but I got trunk and it took me. It's fine. Alright, let's do this one. This. One. Oh, well, I almost did that one. So if you guys notice, it kind of looks like we're in a giant clock tower. If you see on the top left of the screen in the background, you see like the XII, which is 12. And the gears all around. Uh, in some part of it, you can actually see the schematics, like you see up ahead. There's the schematics of the clock or stopwatch. And on the left and right here, you'll see more of those schematics. I just think that's a really interesting detail that they put in. If I miss anything, let me know in the comments. I would like to cover everything. And there's a blue shell, of course. Fantastic. Alright. We still managed to get first place in spite of the blue shell. Oh yeah, the second race is from the 3DS Mario Kart Piranha Plant slide. And I really like the concept of it. Way to highlight the Piranha Plants and kind of like underneath the pipe what it looks like. Or the sewers or whatever, but I still think it's really cool. Here we go. And I missed that item box that I was so close to. Oh man, I didn't get a banana in time. Ah, 
I think. Oh yeah, it showed the bales. So there we go. I got the grass. Okay, so uh, the giant Goomba, like uh, every now and then he'll, you know, he'll switch between the left and the right side. So you better be careful which side, because there's a fake Goomba that, you know, if you hit it, it'll slow you down, but it won't really, or re won't really like shock you or whatever the Goomba does. Uh, obviously, you'd want to hit it. And I just got like a triple whammy right there, you know, you got the red shell, and I think there was another red shell. And then you got the blue shell, and then you got the shrink. And another red shell. So it's not my day. So I remember last week you, I asked you guys what your favorite track was. I didn't get a response, but I'll probably repeat myself today. If there's any Mario Kart or track that you like especially, why don't you write in the comments why you like that one. And you know, I just like to hear what your thoughts are. Because we all have our own different preferences and it's very interesting to share these kind of details and stuff. But, uh, Comment section is always open for feedback and stuff. Alright, so let's talk about it, something else today. How about we talk about the different character classes? So, the characters are divided up into, I think, seven classes depending on their weight. So, you got the really small light characters, which are you know, the babies, you know, Baby Mario, Baby Daisy, Baby Luigi, those types. Then you got the the small, which are like Toad, Toadette, uh, Koopa Troopa, and Shy Guy. And then you got medium, or average, middle way, however you want to talk about, however you want to say, which are, um, you know, people like Mario, Tanuki Mario, Peach, Daisy, that stuff. Then you got the tall, the bigger ones, which are like Wario, uh, Waluigi, um, Waluigi, and I'm sure there's more, like some of the Koopalings, and they're heavyweights like Bowser, Donkey Kong, Dry Bowser, and you know, depending on the, the class you're in, will change on your vehicle st stats. So you'll have a faster vehicle if you're a bigger character but you'll have slow acceleration and it gets changed depending on if you get if you're a smaller character you'll have higher acceleration and lower speed or top speed so whichever what you style you prefer that depends on your character um, me I like to go average you know with like Daisy uh, Iggy Mario those kind of characters just cuz I don't know I kinda like uh, I kind of like better acceleration, if anything. Now, I noticed that I like, along with the graphics that they've done, if they changed with this track from Mario Kart Wii, they've also made it a little more challenging because the, the parts of the track actually fall apart sooner than they did in the original game but uh, I think that's what you know what makes it fun and exciting and of course I almost fell into love a few times but and I also like the detail in the lava and the fire pits well done well done let's make sure not to fall off with these platforms
I know Baz is coming for me. He's like cl closing in soon, but I'm trying to get away from him. Put as much distance as possible. Oh no, a blue shell. Alright, let's see if I can beat Bowser. It looks like he's making his final round, uh, corner. Alright, we got this. That was a very close call, but we did it. On to the final track of the day. The long anticipated Mar Rainbow Road from N64. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to skip. My bad. So, I like this track because it's a lot shorter than the original, but now I feel like it's too short because they divide up into three sections. Uh, and with all the speed boosts and stuff, it feels a lot quicker than finishing, but. I still think they did a really wonderful job on it, and they've done it justice. Oh, oh man. In fact, I think I think uh, I like the N64 Rainbow Road than the, you know, the new Rainbow Road from this game. Just because of the different details and everything. Everything is just beautiful and popping. Let's enjoy the music for a bit. I also like what they did with the chain chops. They kind of did that with the um, in Mario Kart 7 with the chain chops there, where you had chain chop heads rolling around uh, in the moons, but here you have them jumping instead of having it. Oh man, I could have used it on the. Oh well. Could have used the Mega Horn on the blue shell. But uh, what was I saying? I was talking about how the chain chops were. In the original N64 Rainbow Road, they were chasing you. They're actually in the track, chasing after you. But here, it makes more sense to be, you know, just jumping around kind of like anti gravity, because you know that's kind of like the theme of the game. All right, less, last, last, quick, jump, glide, whatever, and we are finished. Congratulations. Well, uh, there you go. That's our episode of the day. If you watched the whole thing, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, next week, I will for next week's character, I will put the poll up, see what you guys would like to me to play as, uh, and then you'll be able to comment in the comment section or to vote. I'll also put it on different Discord servers for your interest. Uh, and as usual, you know. Please subscribe and give any feedback I could do to improve. And uh, I hope to see you guys again next week. Alright, take care.